As mayor of Seattle, I send sincere greetings to Seattle's sister city, Bergen, Norway, from the people of the Pacific Northwest. We're fortunate to have in our archives a motion picture record of the participation in our city by Norwegian Americans as they celebrated Norway Day at the Alaska Yukon Pacific Exposition in Seattle back in 1909. We're proud to be able to share this historic event with the people all over the world. We gratefully acknowledge the cooperation of the Norwegian American Anniversary Commission, which helped to make this film possible. So it's with pride that we present this film to our sister city, Bergen, copies of which will be placed in the Kleng Pearson Institute at Stravanger, Norway. <laughs> Norway Day at the Alaska Yukon Pacific Exposition, August 30th, 1909. The Norwegian ship Viking had set out from Kirkland across Lake Washington, and as the ship rounded the point at high noon, it nears the exposition's Lake Washington gate landing. Leif Erikson, the famed Norwegian sea king, and his brave men will disembark at the landing. The part of Leif Erikson is portrayed by Mr. Eric Thornerly of Seattle. City Councilman H.P. Rood, who is also president of the Norwegian Society, greets the ship as it arrives. The Sea King will be ushered into the presence of Her Majesty the Queen, as portrayed by Miss Astri Udness of Bellingham, Washington, to whom he will pay his respects. Mr. John Miller also greeted the Vikings. It was an exciting occasion as over 7,000 people gathered to welcome the ship. The feature of the day was a spectacular parade through the fairgrounds to the amphitheater in which nine distinct periods of Norwegian history were represented. Mr. William B. Olson of Seattle was parade marshal 
followed by the St. Olaf College Band of Minnesota. Then came the latest automobiles, carrying exposition officials and members of the Norway Day Committee. shields represented Norway's first period in history who in the fifth century joined Attila and the Visigoths in the invasion of Rome. The Vikings with their mail covered tunics and lances represent the next period of Leif Erikson. The Valkyries on their jet black and milk white chargers who carried their fallen heroes from the battlefield to Valhalla. The old sea king Rollo, who was banished from Norway in the ninth century by King Harald the Fair-Haired for piracy. King Hawk and Hawkinson. Peter Tordenskold, Nils Uri, and Kurt Adler, famous admirals of the 17th century. wigs and velvet coats represent the Eidsvold Assembly of 1814. Here is a peasant wedding procession headed by the indispensable fiddler on their way to church. portrays the 1909 invasion of Alaska by the modern Vikings of the gold pan, pick and shovel. And here come the United Norwegian Singers of the Pacific Coast. Mail choruses from Seattle, Tacoma, Ballard, Astoria, Sylvana, Everett, San Francisco, Aberdeen, Portland, Eureka, Spokane, and Stanwood.
Theater, City Councilman Rood welcomed all Norwegians to Seattle. Mr. J. E. Schilberg, president of the exposition, also greeted the crowd. The bust of Grieg, Norway's greatest music composer, was presented to the University of Washington by the Norwegians of the Pacific Coast. The bust was sculptured by Mr. Finn Froelich of Tacoma, Washington. It was accepted by Mr. C. M. Thuland. The Eidsvold debates were presented in character as they happened in 1814, and the ultimatum by King Sverre to the bishops in the year 1193 was read. night on August 30th, 1909, 500 men of Norwegian male choruses gave a Sangerfest before an audience of over 4,000 and brought to a close a famous milestone in the history of Northwest Norwegians. <laughs>